What's going on there guys? Cloud of Truth here with some Battlefield 4 beta. Wait, wait, okay, look, before I get a comment saying you line sack and then you dislike the video and you ski dad alone out of here, hear me out, okay? Just listen up real quick. Just a few seconds of your time and then if you still don't like what I have to say, by all means, drop me that comment I will not take offense whatsoever. Ooh, nice quad. That was pretty cool right there. Okay, now you may be saying, you know, why am I watching some Warfighter? I thought this was Battlefield 4. I don't want to watch this crap, okay? Listen, if you've watched the Battlefield 4 reveal on March 26, 2013, which was the single player, I might add, it was clear in that video that we saw, or the, I guess you'd say the preview or trailer, that the visuals in there were a mix of Medal of Honor Warfight, which you're seeing right here, and Battlefield 3, which you are seeing right here. So, in many respects, you could take both these games, cross them there, and say, look, these two are the beta for this game coming out at the end of this year, Battlefield 4. So, that's why in the title of the video, it has the beta for Battlefield 4 was Battlefield 3 Medal of Honor Warfighter, which is, in many respects, true and not true. Battlefield 3, standalone, I don't think was a beta. I think this was actually a, a, a something that was not intended to be a beta for anything else. Warfighter, I honestly feel like it was a, it was a test for, uh, for Battlefield 4. I, I, really, that's all I feel like. I mean, there's no way that that game ever was going to try to be a standalone with the amount of lack of support and just... You know what? I've already talked about EA enough. I'm not going to mention the devil anymore. So we're going to move on from there, but that's why I titled the video that. Because look, these two games are clearly in Battlefield 4. It, they're going to be in there. It's a cross between the two. Visuals, player movements, mechanics, weapons, things like that. They're there. All right? So now let's actually move on to something perhaps a little bit more interesting. That was what we saw in this whole 17-minute whatever thing that, by the way, is, once again, for the single player. Look, guys, okay, the single player in Battlefield 3, storyline, the story itself, eh, I mean, it was it was pretty standard, pretty boring. I, visuals was the only thing that made it fun, and that even got boring after a while. After you see visual stuff over and over again, it doesn't make a game, okay? Graphics, visuals, they don't make the game. One of the reasons why I still play on PS3, okay? I could go buy myself a gaming PC right now. I don't. I don't do it. Why in the world don't I do it? Because it's not about visuals for me, okay? It's not about frame rates. I don't care. It's the people I play with that make this game so enjoyable. It's, a, it's the comfort level I have on a console. Now, it doesn't mean I'm that great. It could be that once I turn to PC, I could just dominate, which I highly doubt, but yeah, you'd actually be surprised how many console guys, when they change to PC, can, uh, can destroy some faces. But I do because it's a comfort level. And so that's one of the reasons why. But when it came to the Battlefield 3 campaign, it's like, okay, look, man, these, these visuals are starting to get old. And so and when it comes to just the game in general, the single player, there's, there's nothing there. I mean, do you play the single player all the time? No, you play the multiplayer. So really, when it came to what we know about the main thing, what we all want is the multiplayer, we don't know anything. Now I know some people are saying, well, this was in the single player, this has changed this and that. Okay, that's fine if you want to think that. But look, when you came to the Battlefield 3 single player to the multiplayer, it was a lot was different. A lot of its stuff was did not transfer over. It was not the same. So I think it's way, way too early to assume that what we saw here in March is going to be in the multiplayer come the uh, come fall or winter time in the uh, I guess the game type or the game mode, the multiplayer from a single player. They're not even the same. Okay, I just feel like it's way too early to make any kind of assumptions in terms of what is going to be in Battlefield 4 multiplayer. It, it, we're just not there yet, okay? Now, it's possible that a few guys that were invited, the guys like uh, the level caps and the X-Factors and even guys like Luton, could have gotten some news about Battlefield 4 multiplayer, maybe even seen it. I actually, uh, I highly suspect Luton at least got to see something. Because his, just the way he was carrying himself and his enthusiasm when he talked about Battlefield 4 was just through the roof. And you don't talk, and you don't talk like that unless you've got something to be really excited about. Now it's possible, look, I'm not trying to say he's hiding something. That's not at all. Look, guys, don't go yell and scream at the guy. No, look, look, that's not what I'm trying to do here, okay? Look, it, it's possible that he didn't and he's just excited for what he saw. Look, that's fine if he is. It just it just appears like that. I mean, the guy was just got an extra big smile on his face. And I don't really feel like that's you get that from a single player alone. I really don't. But right now, all we know about is the single player. And honestly, that's not what we all want to know. 
I mean, let's be honest here. It's all about the multiplayer. So I feel like it's just a little bit too early to make so many assumptions when it regards multiplayer. Now, sure, you can think and just, you can dream and wonder and all this other stuff when it comes to the multiplayer. Go for it, okay? But don't say that, oh, this is, since we saw this, this is going to be in the multiplayer because it was in the single player trailer. No, it doesn't, okay? That really doesn't mean anything. But I am actually curious to hear what you guys have to think about this. Don't just say, the game looked great. No crap, okay? Look, the game looked amazing. It is that simple. That's the whole point of the single player trailer. They want to show the world that, hey, we are on Frostpoint 2.25 right now, which, okay. Uh, let's be honest here. You can't do much more with this engine. It, there's not, I don't really feel like there's that much more capabilities in the Frostbite engine to really expand. It, it's just not there right now. Some people say it's, you know, DICE says it's Frostpoint 3. I highly doubt that. I mean, this is Frostpoint 2 you're watching right here. And a year later, Medal of Honor Warfighter was made on the same engine. Frostbite 2. When I say Frostpoint, I probably said Frostpoint, didn't I? I'm going to say, I'm going to get Point and Bite mixed up just because it's like 2.5, Bite, 1, 3, I don't know. I'm going to get them screwed up, so just bear with me. Medal of Honor Warfighter was also on Frostbite 2, just the same as Battlefield 3. And I, the visuals are upgraded in Battlefield 4, but I don't feel like it's really that, like it's not so much more to where it's like, whoa, you know, this is a completely new engine and everything. No, it, it's a Frostbite engine. It's a slightly upgraded version of Frost, uh, Frost, I said Frostbite, Frostbite 2. That's what I feel like when it regards to Battlefield 4. So, what am I, you know, what can I say or am I going to make any predictions when it comes to Battlefield 4? No, okay? Look, I'm not here saying that this is going to be in here. I'm not going to do a trailer breakdown. Why? It's a single player. And when it comes to Battlefield, especially after the Battlefield 3 campaign, I don't give two craps about the single player, okay? They could have the coolest mechanic in the single player. whoop de freaking do I ain't not gonna play the single player, okay? I don't buy a game for the single player unless it's Medal of Honor. That I will buy, I'll, I will pay 60 bucks for a single player because Danger Close makes amazing stories. That's all I gotta say to that. But, in regards to Battlefield 4, right now, stop making these, I mean, you can make assumptions, but don't make factual statements saying, this will be in there. Look, we don't know, okay? The game is, what, more than six months away from a beta release, probably. I mean, they're not going to release a beta in the summer. It's probably going to be late summer or something like that. Because when it comes to the release of it, I don't think it's actually going to be on the next, like, it... Some people say it's going to be on this generation of consoles. I honestly, in my personal opinion, don't think so. I feel like they're going to push a package release with the next-gen consoles. I feel like Sony and Microsoft, perhaps, if it comes out, we don't know too much about the 720 yet, or whatever it's going to be called. The PS4, I feel like it could be a package release. It could come out slightly earlier, maybe even a little more expensive to get it earlier, but it may come with Battlefield 4. That's something that is a possibility. Eh, probably not going to happen, but yeah, hey, you never know. Leave your thoughts about this comments here below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up because this is an off day I'm uploading, and I will talk to you guys later. Looking forward to reading your comments. Bye.